Alright everyone, hello, this is the brand new Blender 3.3, the LTS, long term support. So, this is going to be my first modeling with the long term support. This is the tree that we will be modeling in this long term support, Blender version. Okay, so by the end of the video, you will be able to model this with confidence. Okay, so let's get into the action then. I will build a tree and I will build it using a simple circle mesh okay so just press shift a okay and then you can select the cube or circle I've selected circle it has appeared over here okay so if I click this panel and the radius let's change this to something let's say 35 okay and the scale that uh, the scale the dimension doesn't matter over here okay so let me press tab to edit and it has selected all of the vertex it is highlighted in this orange shade so if you click and drag so it turns into black means it's, it's not selected so i'll just select all again press f it'll create a face and then press e to extrude okay so i'll extrude somewhere here let's say 60. okay again the dimension doesn't matter and now what i can do is press shift d to duplicate and then if i press z so it will go straight up okay somewhere here i'll just click to accept it and now what i can do is scale it Let's scale it okay something like this maybe more and i can press the tab key to edit so if i select the top vertex and if I select it in this way, what happens is when you turn around, uh huh, there is a missing selection. So the best way to do is press Z, go to wireframe, and then click and drag to select, and then press Z, come back to the shaded view solid. All right, now I can just scale it down. Very simple. Okay. Okay, so it's already getting that shape. What I would like to do is add some movement over here. All right. So we will add a modifier. Go to the modifiers tab. And then let's add a simple deform. Okay. So I will be using the twist. And the value angle is way too high. So let's reduce it. I'll start from the beginning. Maybe let's say 3. let's add more yeah i like this one okay fine this is good so now what i would like to do is i would like to give some bevel to it so press tab and when i press tab it is showing me the original cage okay might look a little bit confusing if this is the case and if you don't want to see the original cage in the original form what you can do is you can click this button on cage okay you can see how it is changed so it it's up to you how you want to play with it so what i want what i want to do is select the edge go to the edge selection mode and alt click so it will select all of the edges it looks like the face is also selected but it doesn't matter so press ctrl b to bevel it and let's move it drag the mouse and use the mouse wheel to add another segment something like this okay i'm happy with this this is good and now what we need to do is select select press shift d to duplicate again and then I can press Z to move it straight up somewhere here. And now 
to give a little bit randomization to it I can select this and rotate so to rotate I will press R on my keyboard and this is not how I want to rotate so what I can do is press the Z key on my keyboard and it will rotate around the Z axis so let's rotate it to give a little bit of variation now what I can do is duplicate again press shift D and then press Z to move it up slightly and then I can repeat the same process press R Z and then move it all right so now we have a little bit of randomization okay so what I would like to do now I think this is way too thick so we can scale this down so press S to scale okay now I don't want to scale this in a uniform fashion so I don't want to scale in the Z axis so what I would do is press shift shift on the keyboard and Z and just leave it so it, it will ignore the Z axis so only Y and X are considered for scaling okay so maybe somewhere here okay I like this fine so I would like to give a bevel for this top part as well so if I select this and press tab to go into the edit mode and I am already on my edge selection so I will alt click so it will select all of the edge ring for me and then press ctrl B and I can just bevel it somewhere oh i don't know maybe somewhere here this is good enough okay so our lovely tree is ready so the next thing what i want to do is apply some finishes to it and to do it what i will do is select this come down to the materials tab and I can press the new button okay this one I can just rename it let's say it's more obvious it will be green green all right and the color will be green well something like this but we don't see it so in order to see it we need to click this viewport shading so now we can see that lovely green that we want maybe we want to modify it just a li little bit maybe somewhere here yeah this is the one I like so now in order to apply the same finish to the the remaining part so as we know the name of the material is green so when I come here select this one and this click this we can click on this list and then select green from the list and voila same thing we can repeat select this click on this list and from the list we can select green okay now for the trunk oh i can see a gap so we can just quickly press tab and i'll go to my wireframe mode and select the top part and press g and just move it up in the z and then come out okay now this is good come out or we can go to material preview now we are seeing the colors okay so for this one i will create a new material and we can call this trunk and the color will be something over here and let's reduce the lightness I can adjust it something like that okay so just a little bit more like this okay so our lovely tree is ready to be played with and we can use it wherever we want to use populate the scene okay uh, guys I hope you liked it you enjoyed it 
so give a thumbs up and subscribe like and share it and see you in the next episode take care and bye bye